Hello there, everybody. Michael here playing Nancy Drew Alibi in Ashes. Right now, I'm trying to get fingerprints from everybody, and I'm trying to verify everybody's alibis. So, let's pick up a fingerprint kit. And let me see, I bet Bess can get a fingerprint from Tony. Because Bess and Tony are friends. What's up? It seems like your friends aren't as confident about where you were as you seem to think they'd be. <sighs> Between you and me, they're kind of dumb. That's really mean. You talk to them or something, right? I'm not wrong. Anyway, we're not for real friends. They're still in the 90-day trial period. I can return them in their original packaging at any time. Uh, right. I don't think friendship works that way, Dee Dee. Catch you later. Later. Okay, whatever. Hello, how can I help you? I guess I'll have more ice cream. Of course! Best doesn't really want to have more ice cream. Bacon Blast? Time to find some fingerprints. Alrighty, fingerprinting. Oh yeah! Alright, fingerprints. Okay. So let's drop off the fingerprint for Nancy. And then let's switch to somebody else. I think I'm going to switch to Ned. Why Ned? Well, you need to switch to Ned in order to get the fingerprint from Deidre Shannon. an international incident at the antique store. What happened? I smashed a vase. It was really embarrassing. I probably shouldn't go back there again. Oh no. Well, that's okay. We'll be able to handle things at the antique shop. I'm starting to worry that we might not be able to do enough to get Nancy out of jail. I know. I feel the same way. But we can't afford to be worried right now. Nancy needs us more than ever. Let's keep pushing forward on the case no matter what. Catch you later. Bye. I guess we have to switch back to Nancy, and then switch to Ned. What's up? I'm passing the case to you. I'm on the case. Hi. Ned, we need to get Deirdre's fingerprint. See if you can distract her. Distract her? Maybe invite her out on a date. Anything so that we can get her fingerprint. Can do. Did Nancy just ask her boyfriend to date another girl? I need you to take over. Time to help Nancy. Wow, this is crazy. Um, I guess we should go to Scoop and talk to Dee Dee. Wait, does Ned have a fingerprint kit? He does, he does. What's up? I was wondering if you... Yes? Maybe we could go grab some food together. Yes, I would like that. I can't go out like this. I'm going to have to go get ready. But you are out already. Oh, Nedwin, I know you're used to spending time with Nancy Drew, but not all girls are like that. Some of us find better ways to spend our time than playing detective. Nedwin? Okay, let's just start fingerprinting. Let's just do the fingerprints. Honestly, the things I do to solve mysteries. Yes, got it. Bess? What's up? Bye. Bye. Bess does not have a comment to make, okay? You'd think she would have something to say about that. But apparently, she doesn't. Okay, let's get a fingerprint from Alexi. Hello. Where were you before you saw the fire? At around 2 p.m. I was going to talk over at the River Heights Historical Society. 
What was the talk about? We were talking about the time capsule. Not that that matters now that it's been burned to a crisp. It was due to be open at the Anvil Days Festival. You should know this. The winner of the Clues Challenge gets to add something of their own when it's resealed. Um, if you take a look at the newspaper, which is outside, you know that he's lying. Goodbye. Bye. Let me show you this. The newspaper that's outside, which talked about that thing. Crime Weekly. Published daily. What? In any case, River Heights Historical Society's time capsule extravaganza talk delayed from the original Thursday 2 p.m. time due to electrical problems. Okay, so, Alexei, why are you lying? Salutations. The talk you said you were giving at the Historical Society was canceled. What are you talking about? It never happened. Where were you really? It was not canceled. I showed up, I gave my talk, there was a reception, then I left. Same as always. It's not what I heard. What you heard was wrong. So why don't you just butt out? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. What do you know about Brenda? The reporter? She was in here pestering me earlier today, too. Are you all taking turns or something? Send the next guy in with a sandwich, would you? Wow. What did Brenda ask while she was here? I don't like it when people ask me questions. Right now, you are pestering me with questions about previous questions that I was pestered with earlier. It's just recursive and rude, and now I have a headache. I'm looking for a gift for my uncle. He's a real train buff. Can you help me find something special for him? Now that's a question I like. You got it. I'm going to go see what I got in the back. Just hold on. All right, fingerprints, fingerprints. Ha, ha, ha. While he's gone, let's fingerprint. Okay. I don't really see any fingerprints here. All of the prints must have been wiped off. He wiped off his fingerprints. With metal polish. Need powder first. Here we go. Got it. I see why Nancy likes this sort of thing. And you know, while he's not here, let's examine this. Oh, I don't have the key. That's right. George is the one with the key for that. Okay. Let's have George do that later. Let's get the final fingerprint Hi. from Brenda. Why were you at the antique store? Trying to get some background on Alexi. Didn't go all that well. Why not? He's not a fan of the media. And he's cranky, and he's old, and I broke one of his things on accident, and he would not let it go. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Okay, so much for that. Let's just get the fingerprints to Nancy. How many fingerprints does she have? This is one, two, three. Okay. The only fingerprint left belongs to Brenda. Right. Belongs to Brenda. Hi. Alexi lied about his alibi. That means he's a priority suspect. Keep a close eye on him and try to figure out what he would gain by burning down Town Hall. You should take over. I'll take it from here. All right. What's up? Your turn to take over. George, reporting for duty. Okay, so let's open that trunk. Actually, George is probably going to have to distract Alexi, then open his trunk. Okay, Alexi's here. What do you know about Tony? Well, she's on the city council, so she's either corrupt or deeply immersed in the corrupting process. Not everyone in politics is corrupt. Seriously? Where is your youthful cynicism? Yes, all politicians are corrupt. Why do you distrust politicians? Because they don't care about people like you and me. When they're running for office, we're just votes to buy. Once they're elected, we're just collateral damage for whatever or whomever's buying them off. 
You're not a very chipper person. Why is that? I once was. Really? Oh, yeah. I had a lot of fun in life. I had friends. I met the girl I was going to spend the rest of my life with. Okay, then what happened? What do you care? You some sort of tourist in other people's misery? No, it's just... The shop is pretty cool. It seems like you'd be happy to run something like this instead of grumpy. You'd think that. I was happy. But one time, just once, I tried to speak truth to power. And man, if I didn't pay the price. What does that mean? It means my life has been a cruel joke. Try as you might, it's hard not to let that influence your general mood. This must be why he's no longer a detective. But first, I want to get rid of him. Do you have any antique radios? Maybe in the back of the store? Sure. Okay, so now that he's gone, let's open that trunk. Empty? What would Alexi want with an empty bottle of ether? I have no idea. Okay, so these are some of the old cases he solved back when he was a child detective. Wait a minute. Just got released from jail. Oh, man. Oh, 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 and the girl of his dreams got a new boyfriend while he was in jail. Found guilty of stealing an antique lens from the Benningtons. Wait, Carson Drew was on the case? Carson Drew? A.K.A. Nancy's father. We're gonna have to talk to him about this.